I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. And we're ready to get this one underway. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. The option to the fullback gets around eight or nine yards. That brings up second and one. It's second down, one yard to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. run to the outside so we got a few yards on that carry if you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that you can really start to wear a defense down and he's tackled around the 45 yard line Two yards there on the option keeper. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 45. And he's taken down around the 38-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Around the 30-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. The running back gets two on the carry. Makes it out to about the 19. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 19. Laterals back. And they got him for a loss. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Pitches back, and he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Solid stop there by the corner on that one. I'll tell you, I love to see a cornerback willing to step up and make tackles like that. From the 17-yard line, it's third down. They bring him down for a sack on the play. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Navy is looking to go up by three. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. Three nothing, Navy. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he'll return this one from the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Runs it right. Nice pickup. He's on the run. He gets 
sacked on the play. That's a loss of seven yards. From their own 29-yard line, it's third down. Herbie went to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. We still don't know the severity, but the bad news is he hasn't reappeared. Doesn't look like he's been playing any more football today. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Win the return man. Brought down at the 48. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Navy has a three-point lead. They work the right side, and there's nothing going there. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 47. And they get nice yardage on that run. That'll bring up third and six. That's a great tackle at the 39. That's good for a gain of nine yards. First down. From the 39-yard line, first down. Rock down at the 30-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Played one quarter. The midshipmen lead 3 0. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. After a decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it from the 25 yard line. First down. Navy holds a field goal lead. He's got him up in the backfield. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Taken down at the 14. Here's the eighth play of the series. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Smith comes away with about four there on the option play. From the 10 yard line, second down. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. It's away from him, touchdown! And that's as pretty an option play as you'll ever see. It took all fall practice for the quarterback and the halfback to get their timing down. But man, do they look good now. And we'll take a break while the injured player is attended to. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 53-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. He's to the 20. 
Makes it to the 22-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Nice run, and he's brought down. And they hit him in the backfield. Tackles him in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards. Fourth down. Win back deep to return. He makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line. It was a pretty one sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. bring him down at about the 37 yard line a monster run there by the fullback you gotta wrap the big guy up you can't allow the fullback to run wild like that on your defense it's first and ten ball on the 37 he's tackled around the 37 yard line They make the stop at the 29-yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. Third down. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Nice run there. So the option keeper will get him a first down. This is a very well-executed option play. The blocking was there, and the quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down. He's scrambling. Tackle made around the 24-yard line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. And he's tackled right away. Fires out to his receiver. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled at the 14 yard line. It's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. away and it is good Kirk good news the guy that we saw go to the locker room with that injury earlier is back on the sideline and I gotta bet he's gonna be back in the game soon he'll return it from the one he's taken down at the 26 yard line it's a new possession for this offense so what will it hold Gain of a yard by the 
fullback. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 13 to nothing, Navy. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good... Like a game score. We're locked and loaded. You got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Number 22. Taken at the five. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Navy's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He scrambled. And he's taken down at the 28. That makes it second and 10. He makes it to the 28 yard line. No game. That brings us third and 10. catch there before he stepped out of bounds. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. Pickup. Good run by the halfback. That'll be good enough to move the chains. Well, that's a strong run. It makes a statement when you can run the ball like that. Got a man in and out of his hands. King intended to see the play. From the 45 yard line. Second down. He makes his way out to about the 35. Pitch play to the left. He gets out to about the 21 yard line. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in, but they have to finish the job. And the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. Takes the ball right. He fights forward to about the 20. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. With the safeties coming up, making plays near the line of scrimmage, that tells your offense they've got to start throwing the ball to keep them honest. 
Nice run up the middle. That'll bring up third and two. play here. Touchdown, Air Force! This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Cooper fields it at the two. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. They're set to go for another round. Navy is up by six. Around the 36 yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And they'll get him in the backfield. tries to buy some time and he is drilled at the 35 the snap. Peterson fields it at the 26, and down he goes at the 31. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 42. Here we go. He's at midfield. Makes it to the 47. his way to about the 38. Gets out to around the 28. Makes it to the 25-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Brian is his quarterback. From the 25-yard line, second down. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Knocked out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Gets out to about the 15-yard line. That's a game of two on the way. That brings up second and nine. Check, check. 
Somebody jumped early down there. False start, offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. From the 20-yard line, it's second down. The Falcons had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. And he hits him hard at the 17. Three-yard gain by the running back. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. It's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. We're headed to the fourth quarter, and both of these defenses are still stealing the show. The midshipmen lead 13-7. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Hot set! Blue 19! Hot 19! Brought down at the eight yard line. Well, here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game. And every possession is going to count from here on out. Navy up six. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They get nice yardage on that run. Gain of six yards. First down. Get the right one. Get the right one. Go 37 to the left. Right 37. Ready? Ready? He fights forward to about the 23. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 23 yard line. He's to the 40. The 50. He's taken down at about the 45. First down. First and 10. Let's see if they can build off that great run. Anytime a running back gets one-on-one -on -one with a safety, I think that running back has the confidence in his own athletic ability to be able to make that safety miss and, and get upfield for some yards. That time, the safety just dominated him, made a great tackle in the backfield for a short loss. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. down and they need to get it down to the 35. Navy with a six point lead. disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Well, if you like defensive football, you got to love this one. Neither one of these offenses have gotten really into a rhythm the entire ball game. Still the fourth quarter to be played. It's anybody's game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Loss of 
loss of one there for the halfback. That was a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. Up the middle for a nice game. Let's it go. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Run to the outside. That'll make it second and four. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he's tackled after positive yardage. He passes it. From the 48-yard line, second down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. No gain on the play. That brings us third and ten. Frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he shoved out of bounds around the 27 yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Under a minute left in the game. Needed that play and he dropped it. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Wants to go long and done. No, incomplete. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. And again, they're going for it on fourth down. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. Well, that one should do it. A fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter, and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. made at the 32. A yard, maybe two on the carry. It's second and seven. Ball on the 32-yard line. He's tackled at about the 41. Air Force is going to have to use their second time out of the half. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback could have taken knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. The Falcons using their third and last timeout. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. This 
one's in the books. And our final score, Navy 13, Air Force 7. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Navy came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.